Good afternoon, Knights. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Wolf, and today is Thursday, March 12th, 2020, and here's your Unite and Lose update. The UCF computer programming team recently completed in a com collegiate programming contest. Nightly news reporter Armar Sardoui tells us why the competition is not the grand prize that needs to be won. The UCF programming team booked their trip to Moscow for the World Finals after earning bronze in the International Collegiate Programming Contest. The programmers competed in the ICPC along with 58 other teams in Atlanta. Junior Computer Science Major Ahmad Rahamji says it took a lot of preparation for this year's contest. I think we definitely spend, on paper it's 20 hours a week, but it's definitely like 30 hours or more per week just like practicing and learning new techniques and making sure we're fast and accurate at solving problems. The annual competition is often compared to a large-scale athletic event. Team members try to solve real-world programming problems within a certain time limit. As you can see behind me, the team's consistently ranked the best in the nation as they prepare to compete with the rest of the world. In 2018, they were ranked number one in North America and number 10 in the world. However, nearly one million tech jobs were left unfilled in the United States last year, according to CompSHA, an IT trade association. Senior computer science major David Harmeyer says he hopes the trip to Moscow shows the United States is not too far behind. So like Eastern Europe and China, uh, the United States has a lot of work to do. Um, but it's really great this year to see that MIT is st being, like they're, they're really strong again this year. Advance into the world finals adds another accomplishment after winning the seventh consecutive Southeast USA regional ICPCs. Reporting in Orlando, Armand Sardoui, UCF Nightly News. The team will travel to Moscow in June for the world competition. For more on their story, visit nsm.today.com. The men's basketball team is set to begin the American Athletic Conference Tournament today in Fort Worth, Texas. The tournament lasts through the weekend until Sunday with the winning team qualifying for the NCAA Tournament. Winning the tournament is the only way UCF can qualify for March Madness. For seniors Matt Maon and Cesar DeJesus, today could be their final game as, a collegiate, as college basketball players. That's all the time we have for now. Make sure to keep up with all that's happening throughout the week by following us on Instagram at UCF Nightly News. And check back here tomorrow at 1 p.m. for our newscast on YouTube channel and Spectrum channel 734. I'm Chris Wolf. Thanks for watching and have a great day.